oh no not stage page 12 of Callan Business New Work and our last headword was clarify. Okay, so let's start with our revision. Okay, let me just scroll down. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, first question. Okay. Why do tickets for certain sporting events, concerts, etc. sell at very high prices? Why do tickets for certain sporting events, concerts, etc. sell at very high prices? Tickets for certain tickets sporting, for events, certain sporting events, concerts, etc. Et sell at very high sell prices very high price because the demand for the tickets the for is the tickets very high is very and high the supply is limited. The supply is limited. Wait, what's another way of saying that the supply of a product is limited? What's another way of saying that the supply of a product is limited? Another way of saying way of that the supply that of the a supply product is limited product is, is to say that the product is in short supply. In short supply. Very good. Thinking about the person's career path, what's one advantage of becoming a specialist in a particular field? Thinking about the person's career path, what's one advantage of becoming a specialist in a particular field? Thinking about a person's career path, one advantage of becoming a specialist in a particular field is that a person can earn a lot of money if the work they specialize is in high demand. Very good. And tell me a possible disadvantage of being a specialist. And tell me a possible disadvantage of being a specialist, please. A possible disadvantage, a possible disadvantage of, being a of being a specialist is that it can exactly. be difficult to change a career if the demand for a particular specialist skill set disappears. Very good. Name a commodity that most countries in your part of the world have to import from other regions. Name a commodity that most countries in your part of the world have to import from other regions. Oil is a commodity that most countries in my part of the world have to import from other countries. Very good. What do you think your country's most lucrative export is? What do you think your country's most lucrative export is? I think my country's my most lucrative most export lucrative is, is cars. Very good. Which country in the world do you reckon has the biggest domestic car market? Which country in the world do you reckon has the biggest car market? I reckon I Japan reckon has Japan the biggest has domestic the biggest car market. Domestic car markets. Very good. And which car manufacturer do you think has the highest global sales? And which car manufacturer do you think has the highest global sales? I think. I think Toyota has the highest has the global highest sales. Global sales. Very good. What kind of business person is an entrepreneur? What kind of business person is an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur, an entrepreneur is a business person, a business who, person starts who starts their own business and accept the risk, and accept that, the risk this involves. that this involves. Very good. When we submit a job application, what documentation do we usually send? When we submit a job application, what documentation do we usually send? When we submit a, we job a job application, we usually send we our, usually CV send our CV together with a cover letter. With a cover letter. Very good. For a meeting at work, why is it useful to have an agenda? For a meeting at work, why is it useful to have an agenda? For a meeting at work, meeting at it's work, useful to it's have useful an agenda to, have agenda to ensure that to ensure everything, is discussed everything is discussed in a logical order. Uh, so everything, uh, discussed everything is discussed in a logical order. Discussed in a logical order. That important issues that important are issues not, forgotten, not forgotten. And that people and stay that focused. People stay focused. Very good. One more. For a meeting at work, for a meeting at it's, work useful it's useful to have an agenda, to, have agenda to ensure that to ensure everything that is discussed, everything is discussed in, a logical order. in a logical order, and that important issues, and that important issues are, not forgotten, are not forgotten, and that people stay focused. The people stay focused. Very good. Why is an agenda normally circulated to people a few days before the meeting takes place? Why is an agenda normally circulated to people a few days before the meeting takes place? An agenda, 
is normally circulated to people a few days before a meeting takes place so that everyone can think about the items on the agenda, ask for other items to be added if necessary, etc. Very good. Do you personally believe it's better to build a career in the public sector or the private sector? Do you personally believe it's better to build a career in the public sector or the private sector? I personally believe I personally it's believe better to build a career it's better to build a career in the in the pa uh, person pa private, private sector. Private sector. One more. I personally believe I personally it's believe better to build, a career, to build a career in the private sector. In the private sector. Why? Why do you think so? Because um, because in the private sector, uh, we have a lot of opportunity to improve our skills. Very good. To grow, to improve. Very good. Okay, next. Name a country that's experiencing rapid growth in its economy at the moment. Name a country that's experiencing rapid growth in its economy at the moment. Um, India is a country a that's country experiencing that's rapid, rapid growth in its economy, in at, the its economy at the moment. Very good. Which of the following two job titles corresponds more closely to CEO, general manager, or managing director? Which of the following two job titles corresponds more closely to CEO, general manager, or managing director? The job title that corresponds more closely to CEO is managing director. In what situation might a business choose to correspond by sending a letter rather than an email? In what situation might a business choose to correspond by sending a letter rather than an email? A business might choose to correspond by sending a letter rather than an email when the correspondence needs to appear very formal or official. Very good. Next. In... In, in your country, is there a statutory obligation for businesses to maintain good standards of health and safety for their workforce? In your country, is there a statutory obligation for businesses to maintain good standards of health and safety for their workforce? Yes, in yes, my sir. country, in my there's country, a statutory there's obligation, a statutory obligation for, businesses for businesses to maintain good to standards. Maintain uh, maintain good standards, uh, maintain good standards of health and safety health and for safety their workforce. For their workforce. Very good. One more. Yes. Okay. In my yes. country, in my there's, country a there's a statutory obligation for businesses for to business maintain, good to maintain good standards of health and safety health and for safety their workforce. For their workforce. Very good. And if workers feel their employer isn't meeting their obligation in this area, what can they do? And if workers feel their employers isn't meeting their obligations in this area, what can they do? If workers feel if their work employer the field, isn't their employer meeting isn't their obligation meeting in, their this area, in this area, they can complain to the management. To the management. Very good. How would you feel if your new business broke even in its first year of trading? How would you feel if your new business broke even in its first year of trading? I'd feel... I feel surprised if my new business, if I, my if my new business broke even in the first year of in trading. The first year of trading. Why? Why? Because. Um. Because in the first year, mm -hmm. uh, I think businesses need a lot of money to invest uh, facilities. Investment so, facilities. Yeah, it's difficult to break even. On the first year. On the Very first good. Year. Mostly you'll be like putting out money to invest, right? Yeah. Very good. Okay. Next. What's the difference between the words economic and economical? 
what's the difference between the words economic and economical? economical. The difference between the, difference the between words economic the word and economical, and economical is that economic that means economic related to money related or to the money economy, or the economy whereas economical whereas means economical providing means good value or, providing good or requiring value less requiring money than usual. Very good. Give me an example of economic. Give me an example of economic, please. The government's, the government's new, economic policy new economic policy seems to be working. Seems to be working. And now give me an example of economical. Give me an example of economical, please. He keeps his central he heating his on central heating all the time. Central he keeps his central heating on. He, uh, sorry, say it again. he, he keeps... He, he keeps, keeps his central heating on. He keeps his central heating on all the time because, all the time because he believes it's more economical. It's more economical. Very good. Okay, next. Do the adjectives full time and part time have the same meaning as the adjectives permanent and temporary? Do the adjectives full time and part time have the same meaning as the adjectives permanent and temporary? No. The no. adjectives full the time adjectives and part time, -time and part -time don't have the same meaning the same as meaning the, adjectives the adjectives permanent and temporary. And temporary. What's the difference? What's the difference then? The difference is the that difference full time is and part time, -time and part -time indicate the number of hours number of a person hours works each week, works each week whereas permanent and temporary, permanent and temporary tells us whether tells an employee's whether contract, an employee's contract, contract terminates, terminates after a certain period a certain or not. Period or, or not. Very good. Is it hard for someone who doesn't work in business to understand business terminology? Is it hard for someone who don't work in business to understand business terminology? Yes or no? Mm, yes. It's hard for someone hard for who doesn't someone work in business to, work in to business understand to business understand terminology. Business terminology. But if you were speaking to a computer expert and they use a term you weren't sure about, would you ask them to clarify the meaning of the term or would you ignore it? If you are speaking to a computer expert and they use a term you weren't sure about, would you ask them to clarify the meaning of the term or would you ignore it? If I were speaking to a computer expert and they use a term I weren't sure about, I'd ignore it. Very good. In economic terms, which country in the world do you think is the healthiest? In economic terms, which country in the world do you think is the healthiest? In economic terms, in economic terms I think, I think um, U.S. is the country is in the world in the that world is the healthiest. That is the healthiest. Do you always ensure that you read all the terms of every contract you sign? Do you always ensure that you read all the terms of every contract you sign? Yes or no? Mm, no, I don't always ensure I always that ensure I read all the terms of all every terms contract of I sign. Every contact, every contact I sign. Why? Why? Why not? Um, because uh, it's very difficult to read all, all the sentences, uh, and, and uh, I feel very uh, tired. That's great because it's very long usually, right? Yeah, and very tiny. Yeah. Okay, very good, Akisha. That's the end of our revision. Let's have new work. Okay, okay, so let's start again. Okay, repeat department, department, consumer, consumer, customer service, customer service, sales, sales, marketing, marketing, call center, call center. Very good, okay, listen. Department is a noun. It is one of the major parts of a company, organization, government, or school. For example, your letter has been forwarded to our sales department. So that's the department that handles sales. Consumer is a noun. It is a person who buys goods and services, for example. Many consumers are still not comfortable making purchases on the internet. Customer service is a group that deals with the needs of the customer, for example. If customers need to clarify something, they need to contact directly the customer service in charge. Sales is a noun. It is a group that deals with the selling of products. For example, sales departments 
know how to persuade customers to buy their product. Marketing is a noun. It means the activities that are involved in making people aware of a company's products, making sure that the products are available to be bought, etc. For example, the sales customer service and marketing department have their most direct contact with consumers. Call center is the kind of organization that receives calls from the customers. For example, in a large business like a bank, for example, the customer services department is most likely to be based in a call center. Okay, let's practice. Which department of a company have the most direct contact with consumers? Which departments of a company have the most direct contact with consumers? The sales, the sales customer to, service, customer and services, marketing department and the marketing department have the most direct, the contact, most direct contact with consumers. With the consumers. And in a large business like a bank, for example, which of those three departments is most likely to be based in a call center? And in a large business like a bank, for example, which of those three departments is most likely to be based in a call center? In a large business like a bank, for example, the customer services department is most likely to be based in a call center. Where we go next a bit out of work. Out of work. Job security. Job security. Very good, Achillesin. Out of work is an adjective. It means not having a job. For example, I don't believe that my current government has a good strategy for helping people who are out of work. Job security is a noun. It means when a job is secure and there is no chance of ever losing it. For example, if a person's main concern were job security, I'd suggest that they look for work in the public sector. Let's practice. Do you believe that your current government has a good strategy for helping people who are out of work? Do you believe that your current government has a good strategy for helping people who are out of work? Yes or no? Mm, uh, yes. I believe that I my believe current government, that my government has, a good strategy has a good strategy for helping people, for helping who, people are who are out of work. Very good. If a person's main concern were job security, would you suggest that they look for a work in the public sector or private sector? If a person's main concern were job security, would you suggest that they look for work in the public sector or private sector? If a person's main if concern, a person, if, if a person's person, main concern, uh, if a person's main concern were job security, uh, job security I'd suggest they I suggest they look for work look for in the in the public sector. Very good. Okay, next will be chair. Chair. Chairperson. Chairperson. Chairman. Chairman. Chairwoman. Chairwoman. Principal. Um, principal. Participate. Participate. Participant. Participant. Very good. Okay, listen. Okay, here we go. In a formal meeting, such as a board meeting, there is a person who is called the chair. The principal duties of a chair are to manage the meeting, organize decisions and votes, make sure participants don't interrupt one another or argue, and to ensure that the meeting focuses on the agenda and progresses smoothly. Instead of chair, we can use the, the names chairperson, chairman, or chairwoman. Let's practice. In a board meeting, what are the principal duties of a chair? In a board meeting, what are the principal duties of a chair? In a board meeting, In a board the meeting, principal duties the principal of the chair of the are chair, to manage the meeting, uh, to manage the meeting organize decisions organize and us, votes, organize, organize decisions, uh, organize decisions and votes, make and sure uh, and votes and like the, voting. Uh, votes. And the votes. Very good. One more. Votes. In a board okay. meeting, in a boat meeting, the principal duties the principal of, the duties chair of the chair are to manage the meeting, uh, manage the meeting organize decisions, organize and, decisions votes, and vote, make sure participants, make sure participants don't, interrupt one, don't another, interrupt one another or argue, or argue and to ensure and that the meeting focuses the meeting on, focuses the agenda on the agenda and progresses smoothly. Progresses smoothly. Very good. So what other names can we use instead of chair? 
what other names can we use instead of chair? Yeah. Other names other we can names. use instead, we can of use instead of chair. Instead of chair, our chairperson, uh, chairperson, chairman, or chairwoman. Chairman or In your opinion, is it important when uh, chairing a meeting to ensure that everyone participates more or less equally? In your opinion, is it important when chairing a meeting to ensure that everyone participates more or less equally? Yes or no? No. In my opinion, In my it opinion, isn't important, it isn't important when, chairing when chairing a meeting to meeting ensure, ensure that everyone that participates everyone more, or less equally. more or less equally. Very good. Next, repeat. Priority. Priority. Prioritize. Prioritize. Task. Task. Very good. Okay, listen. Priority is a noun. It is something that is more important than other things. And that needs to be done or dealt with first. For example, if someone's main priority in life is their career, I think they're less likely to have a happy private life because they will be too focused on thinking about their job and tend to forget that they still have life to spend with their family. Prioritize is a verb. It means to organize things so that the most important things is done or dealt with first. Task is a noun. It is a piece of work that has piece been given to someone, to a someone. job for someone to do. For example, we should always spend a few minutes prioritizing our task before we start work each day so that urgent or important tasks get done first. Very good. Okay, so let's practice. If someone's main priority in life is their career, do you think they're less likely to have a happy private life? If someone's main priority in life is their career, do you think they're less likely to have a happy private life? Yes or no? Uh, yes. I think that if someone's main priority in life is their career, they're less likely to have a happy private life. Very good. Why? Why? Because... Um, because uh, um, uh, such people uh, usually focuses on just business and uh, um, they often forget uh, their families. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Why should we always spend a few minutes prioritizing our tasks before we start work each day? Why should we always spend a few minutes prioritizing our tasks before we start work each day? We should always spend, we should always a, few spend a few minutes prioritizing our tasks task before we start before work we each day start working each so day. that urgent so the or urgent important task important gets, task done gets done first. Gets done first. Uh, gets done first. Very good. Okay, next. Okay, let's have abbreviation. Uh, abbreviation. Very good. Okay, let's have abbreviation. So, when... Okay, so here we go. Let's have the abbreviation. Okay, let's have the first one. Okay, repeat. Okay. ATTN equals uh, attention. ATTN equals attention. So it means attention. Next. Uh, FAO means for the attention of. FAO equals for the attention of. Very good. PTO equals please turn over. PTO equals please turn over. And RE means regarding. Uh, RE, RE means equals regarding. Very good. Okay, listen. So, ATTN means attention. FAO means for the attention of. They're both used to indicate exactly who correspondence is intended to, so who the letter is for, or the email. They're both followed by a column and then a name or job title, normally on the envelope of a letter or in the subject line of the email. Okay, but we stop there for today. But very good. Thank you very much. See you again. Thank you very much. See you again tomorrow. Yeah.